th there we go. We just, we just got the, no the notification that our spy has done its job. There's only 61 men in, in there at the moment. Alrighty, yes. We don't even have to attack it. They will surrender it. Yes. Alright, here come their cavalry. I'm not sure what they're doing. Alrighty, 150,000 for their golden company. Now looking at, at our army, we have Harry Strickland. Leave my golden company alone. We'll keep formation. Our archers should destroy them. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a world of ice and fire episode 10. Now, last episode was absolutely crazy and we're going to continue this craziness in this episode now. I hope you're looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So as you know, we declared war on Mia and we took the city of Mia, the town I should say. And uh, yeah, that was fantastic. Now we're just trying to take out the few vassals. They only have four. I thought they had three, but they don't, but they do have four. Um, they are pretty big armies, but when you check this army, you can see just a lot of just random troops. At the top of the troops there, you can see their actual troops. They're not, well, I say they're actual troops. They're still just mercenaries. But um, as you can see, as it goes down, you've got slavers, you've got random troops from all kinds of different factions and stuff like that. So I've gathered all of my own Crownland troops, and for those who don't remember, I did customize my own Crownland troop line. Using the Morphs editor, I changed their arms around to uh, to make the Crownland troop line slash Targaryen troop line to have more of a look that I liked. As you know, all of the major factions in, in Westeros have a very unique look. Um, you think of the North with the leather, you think of the you think of the Lannisters with their you know their golden and red armor. And the inspiration behind this look was what did the Crownland troop line look during Robert's rebellion and before that you know what did the targaryen troops look like and this is what i kind of had in mind now i did i did get some comments asking like are these guys too op and the truth is no i did a lot of testing with these troops um some of their armor is actually a lot worse and also the dragon guard which i think um they did really well in the last episode they are literally identical to the reach they are literally identical to the reach sworn swords um literally same armor like same boots sword gauntlets horse you name it and their armor is actually slightly worse so my, my dragon guard armor is actually worse than this so yeah they're like a slightly worse version of the reach sworn swords and this is the difficulty i'm playing on playing i always play on normal um sometimes i do go like make it slightly easy so i do reduce damage on myself only because i like to show more of the battle and if i'm get, if i get taken out with one arrow then i can't really do that much but for now i'm gonna keep it on normal um again like for those who just just to, just to be very clear i don't play this game to sort of like challenge myself i've got over like 2000 hours in this game i've done it all you know so when it comes to like a challenge i don't care i'm just here to tell a story and just produce a good video Alrighty, here we go so so this is basically my entire crownland troop line we haven't seen these in action yet properly um so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing how they go i didn't realize how much cavalry i actually have i have like more cavalry than Infantry. <laughs> Alrighty, getting all our troops in position. I'm gonna get the infantry nice and close behind the archers here because the cav will charge soon. Alright, let's uh bring the archers back. Charge infantry. Leave my archers alone. Bastard cavalry. Alrighty, absolutely, absolute chaos at the moment, the way I like it. Alright, the leader's been taken out, fantastic. That's what we like to hear. Alrighty, looks like all the archers are left of this wave. There are more coming. Oh, of course they have Dothraki. Of course they do. Thought you did shoot my horse. You can see this horse has more HP. No, come back, horse. Never mind, all right, I'm sticking with you then. My horse is a bit slow, and I can tell, um, so I'm gonna try and take this horse if it stops, if it doesn't stop moving. My men are dying, just let me. Oh, it's full health, fantastic. All right, let's charge the infantry because they are just getting absolutely smashed at the moment. Let's flank with the cav. All right, let's charge, let's charge. These are all archers, let's go. Die, peasants. So far, so well. I think they will have more troops. Yeah, they will. Alright, so we got reinforcements. Time to reform. 
get the cavalry ready. Oh, looks like you know what? Let's just charge the cavalry. Sure, I'm sure they can take out some poachers. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm gonna charge the infantry now. Let's just finish them off. Let's go. Look at my troops. They look so goddamn cool with their shields as well. I love it. And we're just versing literally just we we we're, we're just taking out like peasants right now. Poachers, bandits. This is nothing. Future battles will be a lot harder when we're versing actual, like, you know, elite troops and stuff like that, but, um, yeah. I think this, this would be pretty accurate if this was real life. You know, a professional army versing just a bunch of bandits. <laughs> Alright, it's time to charge everyone. Looks like this battle is just about over. Man, I need, to get, I need to get myself one of these horses. They are tough. And there we go. There we go. Wonderful. And you are my prisoner, just because I don't want you to come back and bite me in the ass later on. Alright, so there's only sh there should only be one more vassal. So yeah, not bad. Now, the reason why I was grabbing this army was to take out this settlement here. Only 227. So yeah, not that much. And if you look inside, it's just a few mercenaries. So yeah, it shouldn't be too hard at all. But since my army is pretty battered, we've got about 100 wounded. I think we, we, we will go back to Mir. The annoying thing about about this about this map is that um, to get to Mir, you have to go all the way around. There isn't a bridge here. Bit annoying. Alrighty, so we've uh, rested up the army. We're all back to, back to 100%, and it's time to try and take out the settlement. I haven't attacked a settlement in a long, long time. I'm going to save it just in case, you know, it may crash. But yeah, this should be fun. Um, I don't know how hard this will be. There, are, It is a, pre a pretty big garrison, and you should always bring at least, I would say, double of what the garrison is. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's give this a go. So let's build the mantlets. That should help. And then we'll just, um, yeah, wait. Oh my god, the enemy, um, the enemy sallied out for a secret passage, attacking us before swiftly retreating back. Alright, so we lost 30 killed and 15 minor wounded. What? And they had 8 killed. Oh my lord. Build defenses. We are building defenses. Oh my god. Not a good start. So yeah, we lost 30 men while building defenses and it says, you should build defenses. Well, I was. Alright, let's go. Yep, and we just lost a uh, another 26. The enemy and our men came upon each other near a river, and the fight of the water caused numerous casualties. Oh my god. Okay, another 26 killed and 14 minor wounded. And they lost 21. Oh my god. Alright, well, let's give this a go. Oh my god, how many men we lost now? 16 more killed. Alright, well, let's, uh, the hours arrived. <laughs> See, let's all just into an assault, please. Why do I feel like we're all gonna get shot to death before we even get close to the walls? Alright, so we're creeping up to the walls. Lost a few men so far to these uh, archers. It's a really, really tough settlement to take out. No matter where we push, we will get shot in the in the back. So, uh, yeah. I have stationed my archers outside the front here. I'm hoping, like, for example, my companions and guy can start sniping a few off the walls. But um, we'll just see how we go. There we go. First, 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 uh, first death. And guy, good on you, and guy. What a guy. And he's knocked unconscious. And guy, no. Alright, oh look at this. Yep. This is the, these are the battles that I remember. All your troops come through the gate and we just sort of walk past. Because we're going, we're going after all the archers. It's probably smart to go after the archers first anyway. Oh, I'm getting shot. One arrow and I'm ready to down to half health. It's going to be a quick battle. There's archers everywhere. Oh my lord. This, yeah, we, I'm, I'm waiting for backup. Get him, lads. Oh, I'm getting shot. Oh my god. Oh man, it's impossible. You're getting shot from th like three directions. Well, at least, at least we can watch our men try and do all this now. This is when I wish I could like respawn as a companion. Because I really can't have any control over this battle anymore. I just gotta watch my men die. Looks like oh, looks like we are making quick work of the archers though. So once the archers are dead on the walls, that's fine because our infantry are pretty good against the infantry. But um, we've lost a lot of men, so it's just it's just whether do we have enough men left. And what's going on down here? We have got a lot of men stuck as well. They ain't moving. All right, so some of our infantry have started work in the middle here. We're heavily outnumbered, um, but we are actually killing quite a few. The Dragon Guard are actually quite quite effective. I really I really need to take this banner off Maya Stone. She's just not doing anything with this. Oh no, she's trying to like nudge him with the stick. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm taking that off her. 
So we do have lots of troops, but they're they're stuck on some kind of in invisible barrier, unfortunately. Um, yeah, this, this is gonna be tough. That is strange because I didn't tell them to stand. I didn't tell them to stand or anything. They're just kind of like weirdly just chilling. Yeah. Oh well. All right, but a few more troops coming in. It's not my best troops. They're just my uh, just my footmen. But um, we'll see how see how they do. I think this would be the final push. If my troops can't make it here, then I th I think that is it. All right, it doesn't look too good. I I'm I'm gonna pull out this fight because uh, we've lost so many men. I think we don't have any more men to push, and the only men that we do have are the archers just chilling at the back here, and infantry which are stuck. So uh, I think I will pull out for now, and we'll attack it again. You know, get some reinforcements, and yeah. All right, so we lost about over a hundred men, but um, yeah, we're still we, we we are still intact. There is only 50 men left in that garrison, so what we can do, we can rush back to Mir, we can get the Golden Company out, we can sail, sail across, and uh, finish off the settlement. Alrighty, so we've got the Golden Company with us now, we're gonna quickly... There we go, find a landing point. There we go. Hopefully the garrison isn't too strong, we may be able to just, uh, you know, make him surrender. We shall see how we go. Let's besiege this, call a meeting. Ugh, oh, they don't want to surrender, of course they don't. Ah, right. Alright, let's attack this again. See how many men they have. I'm guessing they're gonna have around 100. Oh, 67. Okay, not too bad. I'm getting everyone to follow me. I don't want any more troops getting stuck. I'm sick of it. Do you need to be careful? Some of these, some of the Golden Company don't have shields. But, um, oh well. That's their problem. Alright, I'm gonna charge the infantry in. Get them, lads. Off they go. Good luck. Lo oh, yeah, Angai. Yes, he's back. Shoot them all. So let's have got some troops stuck again. It's a bit annoying. If I can find Angai, I'll just like keep him safe. All right, here we go. I'll say that looks like there's the same spot here. I'm not sure what is here, but the there's a lot of troops getting stuck on it, which is a bit annoying. All right, here come my troops. Looks like this. Looks like, it's, looks like it's be the same kind of thing. I might try and take out this infantry. I'll let the others take out the archers. Take him out, lads. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I've got here comes the backup. Here comes the backup. Here we go. Get him, lads. And these guys hit hard. <laughs> Almost dead. Oh man, these pikemen are these pikemen are nasty. There's heads flying everywhere. And there we have it. Man, that was insane. Golden Company are pretty damn awesome, not gonna lie. Alright, there's loads of captured men, let's take them all. Well, I don't really have anyone to give it to, so I'll have it for myself, I guess. Alright, there we go. We have another settlement in our control. Fantastic. Ugh, oh, of course. Literally, like, five minutes later, the, uh, the city is under siege by, I'm assuming, their last vassal. Unless one of them escaped, I haven't been keeping an eye on it, but, um, yeah. Alright, well, um... Let's gather a little army and go take him out. I think it's about time we uh, get the Unsullied back out. I think it's I think it's time. All right, here we go. Hopefully, he doesn't have a huge army because <laughs> we only have two hundred and sixty of us. Can we bother to walk all the way around? And my boat can only hold two hundred and sixty. All right, where is he? He's not even here. Oh, where'd he go? All right, so I've uh, put all of my Golden Company into the settlement for now, up until we can get our own troops to uh, to garrison it up. Now we only have two hundred and fifty nine men in Mir, which I'd rather have a bit bit more. I know I've got loads more troops up in my settlement up here, so I might take a boat and take about two hundred and bring it over to Mir. So let's drop off all my troops and uh, go for a little let's go for a little trip. And my troops do not like the ocean. <laughs> Whole time just they're moaning. All right, we made it back to Quafagar. I think I've got a few troops left in here. Oh, 610, just a few. 
And I'm going to wait here for some time because, again, my troops are all upset because we don't like the ocean. I know it's terrible. All right, so we're off again. So I gathered all of my Volantin troops. So we've got Volantin soldiers, horsemen, cavalry, a few of my Cranland marksmen, which I left behind, soldiers and archers. Demira so offering 28,500 for one of their vassals. I think I might say yes because every time I reject, I do lose reputation. And I feel like we can go and take out their last element quite easily now. So uh, I might accept and then go take it out before he can get any troops. So yeah, let's do that. All right, to be honest, I might just attack with this army I've got right now. Um, I don't think the garrison will be huge, so we'll give it a go. <laughs> oh, the garrison's only 160. Okay. Ooh. Now, will he fight me in the open field? Who's he got? He's got Novoshi troops and other stuff as well. He is running away from me, so I don't think we're going to catch him. Let's try and take out this last settlement, um, because if we do take this, it doesn't matter how many vassals they've got left, because they won't be able to train any more men, because they've got nowhere to rest. The enemy is trying to burn our assault equipment. Your casualties, 13 killed, 18 wounded, and they lost 5. Okay. Um, send some men while... I don't know. I, I really don't know what to pick in this situation. All right, sent some men, and... We lost nine and they lost six. Yeah, whatever. Damn. <laughs> oh, he now he's attacking me? We'll fight to the end. Alright, let's go. I don't even know where he came from. Anyway. I forgot I've got all my cell sails. I should have put my I should have put my sailors back. But saying it though, the sailors are pretty good fighters, but the only reason I bring sailors along with me is because they make travelling by sea faster the more you have. So uh anyway, hopefully don't hopefully I don't lose too many. And um anyway. So I think this army's more suited for attacking a castle since we don't really have any cavalry besides my companions. Oh, we actually do have a few, but they're not the best. We have a lot of archers though, a lot of archers, so we'll definitely wait until they come to me. I do not like the fact that they've got all that cavalry. That could be, that could be really, really painful to, to deal with. No, I might do. I might try and take out, take out their leader. I think that's him on, on the left there. If I can take him out, that should uh, cause some stress amongst their ranks. I'm back here, you knob. Oh, you bastard, come here. Alright, I'm gonna charge my infantry since they're all just coming at us. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get off my horse for this so I can stick with my infantry since they will be outnumbered. Stay strong, lads. Want a hell of a fight. Alright, it looks like we're doing pretty well so far. Archers are still intact, which is always a good sign. Our archers are doing so good. I forgot how good the tiger tiger cloak archers are. They have a lot of archers left. Oh boy. Alright, so it looks like bait all their cav are gone for now. It's just all the infantry, and we have a lot of archers left. And they're they're doing they're doing a fantastic job. Honestly, I'm gonna charge the archers now because half of them won't have any ammunition left. And at this point, numbers the number advantage is gonna help. Man, that's a lot of archers. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Alright, charging everyone. Let's go. Let's take out let's take out with their archers now. Oh no. Save me. Oof. Oh we got reinforcements. The cavalry have arrived. Get him, lads. Oh my god, that was bonkers. Man, I love the Tiger Troops. They are so cool. They're not only good looking, they're good at fighting as well. Absolutely brilliant. Well, on that note, I'm gonna quickly... I'm gonna quickly go back to Mia. I'm gonna drop off all the, all the wounded troops and my Cell Sailmen, and I'm going to get some Unsullied. I need to take some more money up because our troops have a lot of... 
I love upgrades and they cost lots of money, so uh, yeah. Tiger Cloak Guards, hell yeah, we like Tiger Cloak Guards. Elite Archers, nice. Old man, we have heard of your glorious deeds far and wide, Joran. We're in dire need of a hero. I'm the mayor of Lefodun. At least what is left of it. Our village was recently looted and many of us were forced into joining the invading scum. The group is led by a large so-called knight clad in Targaryen armor who claims to be raising an army for the, for the return of the one true ruler of the Seven Kingdoms. What? He is rumored to be the ruthless and crispy blazeman of the noble birth who wields a Valerian blade. The Barsa's forces have been devastating our surrounding, surrounding countryside. We are not the first village to fall to his sword nor will be the last if you do not help. We would forever be in your debt, noble sir, if you could destroy his ill-gotten camp and bring him to justice. Of course I will. Let's take him down. I've never heard of this quest. Cool. Anyway, back to business. During the night, your men captured and executed a group of enemies who tried to infiltrate and burn supplies. Hell yeah, take that. That's what you get. Um, it, we reward each of the warrior with, with, with warrior bracelets. Huh. Let's give him bracelets. I'm sure, that sh I'm sure they'll love that. I know, I, I know, I like bracelets. Oh no, we're out of food. Oh no, I didn't realize we're out of food. I put so much food though. Anyway, all right, here we go. Order the vanguard. Build the man. All right, put the man down. Nine killed. Enemy lost eighteen. Oh, they're gonna have they're gonna have no men left. All right, here we go. That was arrived. Assault. Oh my god, my sky. My my bloody sky is a hand. All right, ignore the sky. Looks like we've it looks like we're doing the same kind of layout as the one before. Um, here we go. All right, the plan is to send the infantry in first. And then once the infantry uh, sorts out the archers, we'll send them in the unsullied, and we'll leave the um, we'll leave the archers to just chill out here and pick him off. As you can see, Syria at the front there, leading the charge with no shield. Absolutely mad. So far, our archers having no luck. The infantry are making it close to the to the gates now. Unfortunately, it looks like the same spot on the map. Everyone is stuck again. Absolutely tragic. Oh dear. Man, this really isn't working. I haven't. I've got. So my men are trickling in like one by one and this whole group here isn't moving. It's really, really annoying. I can't effectively take this out. I'm gonna have to bring in the Enslade now. Alright, I'm flanking around, taking out some archers. Alrighty, all the Enslade are making their way through the gate now. They should make quick work of the infantry at the front. Now that these archers are getting dealt with, it should be a lot easier for my men to make it, uh, to make it through. Oh yeah, that's see that, that that's a kill feed I like to see. Mostly blue. My guy's exhausted, but he's he's not giving up. He's not stopping. Oh, and I'm I'm missing all my axe throws today. Can't kill this guy. I'm so exhausted. And none of my hits are actually connecting. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, we've won. Fantastic. Bloody hell. We lost so many men. Seventy wounded. The garrison was only like eighty men. <laughs> It shows how, like, you know, you don't need a big garrison to defend a castle, you know. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Ooh, red priests. I will take them. Look at them. They look awesome. And I have this for myself as well, and up until I have some vassals I can give it to. Oh, man. Wonderful. Alright, let's just chuck a massive garrison here. Oh my god, all my troops are dead. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to end it there. An absolutely crazy episode, massive battles, we have uh, taken out all of the settlements that Mir own, so that faction should eventually end, um, they'll probably do one last battle and that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, um, make sure to drop a like and a comment, and uh, yeah, we'll continue the adventures in the next episode, I'll bid you farewell, see you next time.